board a 10-meter platform, it's hard to comprehend the courage required to do this sport. No doubt about that. 10-meter is a lot higher from the top looking down than it is from the ground looking up. Over there, the water looks uh, clean and refreshing, and blue up here looks hard and unfriendly. That's the truth, too. There's a wonderful sense of respect for the 10-meter tower. Today, we're going to see the best divers in the world, two of the top Americans here also, Michelle Mitchell and Wendy Weiland. They are both, without a doubt, two of the best platform divers in the world. They have a lot of experience diving in international competition, but the Soviets are facing them with an intense challenge. Angela Stasovich from the Soviet Union. She's 19 years old. She's doing an inward one and a half somersault pike, the same die as Lee Hunson just did. That was really beautiful, too. You see those two bubbles come up on either side are caused by her swimming entry. That's how she gets that rip. No water thrown at all. Excellent scores. Everybody gives her eight. Angela was less than one point behind Michelle in the Fort Lauderdale International Meet just a few weeks ago. I think that Angela is going to push Michelle. Michelle is going to push Angela. It's going to come down to the last round. It's going to be great. Of course, Wendy Weiland could be up there as well. Wendy won the bronze medal in the 84 Olympics. Michelle won the silver. Wendy's been diving very consistently, too. Silky Albert from East Germany, 17 years old. Doing a forward one and a half somersault pike. Kind of interesting that she's doing it standing. Most people take a, an approach to the end of the tower. That's a little bit short of vertical, but a nice soft entry. She didn't throw very much water. That's what they want to do. In 1986, this past year in the national championships, she finished second for East Germany. And the judge give her ranging their scores from six and a half to seven and a half. They throw out the top, the high and the low, and they average the rest. See her grab her hands there, stretch for the entry. That tape is not because of an injury. That tape provides support. It's a, almost a preventative kind of thing because wrists are a very common injury for tower divers. Kana Novotna from Czechoslovakia. She's doing a back dive pike. Degree of difficulty 1.8. She's going to swing her arms up and her toes are going to come up to her fingers. Then she's going to lay back and look for the water. Pretty nice dive. These first rounds, I love the first four rounds because the required dives get the greatest entries. The optional rounds, they get a little more tentative. Kana is the 1985 European Cup champion. Up, touches her toes, leaves her feet right where they should be. She let them drop just a little bit, so when she reached back to stretch, she was a little arch. A tremendous field today. Wendy Weiland is up next from the United States. She's 22 years old. Wendy's doing an inward one and a half somersault pike. She's going to throw her arms down toward the tower. Her hips will come up and she'll spin one and a half times toward the tower. It was a nice dive. It was also a little short of vertical. She threw more water than some of the other girls have been doing. Wendy sometimes has a tendency to start off a little bit tentatively. And she's a very fiery competitor boy. When she wants something, she goes for it. I hope she see her look for the water, line up, leave it just a little bit short of vertical, but it's a good start. And there's the scores for Wendy Weiland ranging as you see from sevens to seven and a half. Elke Heinrichs from West Germany. She's won 25 medals in German competition since 1981. She's doing a forward one and a half somersault pike also. Also standing. That was a little bit short of vertical. She throws a little more water than some of the other girls do. Elke's 21 years old. To improve her diving, she trained with Mike Brown at the Longhorn Diving Club this, a year ago in the United States. She said you learn to be picky with yourself in America. In Germany, the coach has to tell you much more. She's not too tight in that pike right there. You want to put your nose right on your knee. She was a little open in the pike. Threw a little too much water on the entry. And you see the scores range from six to seven. Up next is Guan Sevatin 
13 years old from China. Whoa, did you see that? It takes you. I can't even say it. Just absolutely unbelievable. The Chinese women, I mean, I should, I don't know, well, girls. She's only 13 years old, but they have such an unbelievable amount of talent. Watch what she bows. The Chinese team takes a bow to the audience, or the people in the stands after every dive. Look at, look at these lines. I mean, you can't get any straighter than that. And her scores go all the way up to eight and a half. That was a tremendous dive for Guan Davidson from China. Chinese are going to put the pressure on the entire field today. A tremendous field, so much talent. This is Olga Blanova, 16 years old from the Soviet Union. She's doing a forward one and a half somersault pike, same dive. Nice dive, it's straight in. It started to move a little bit past vertical, but it was a nice clean entry. See the differences in the style between the Soviets and the Chinese. Olga's nickname is Blinchek, means little pancake because her name sounds like the dessert. She starts the somersault and she has her arms way out, kind of behind her. Different stylus is different. Pretty much straight in, a nice size. And her scores, as you see, ranging all the way up to uh, seven and a half and eight. Michelle Mitchell from the United States, 24 years old, the defending national champion in the three meter and 10 meter events. She's doing an inward one and a half somersault pike, 2.0. Michelle has been diving extremely well. In the last two competitions with the Soviets, She's won one meet, and Angela's won one meet, and see what's going to happen. It's going to come down to the last dive. That was very nice. She's really up for this contest today. You mentioned the rip entry, saying it sounds like a sheep being ripped. Sounds that like claw ripping. Mm -hmm. That was definitely your rip entry from Michelle Mitchell. Nice distance from the tower. It looks like her feet are close to the tower, but they're really not. It started to move a little bit past vertical, but she just creamed it on the end. <laughs> and you see her scores ranging from seven and a half to eight and a half for Michelle Mitchell. And here are the standings after the first round. The leader is Michelle Mitchell from the United States. In second place, Angela Stasulovich of the Soviet Union. And Wendy Weiland of the United States is in third. But a very close competition. And we'll be back from the Olympic Sports Center in a few moments. At the end of three rounds, the leader is Angela Stasulovich of the Soviet Union. Lee Hunson is in second place from China. And in third place, the other Chinese girl, Guan Sevatin. This is our leader, Angela Stasovulich from the Soviet Union. What a jump. Boy, you can hear her hit the end of the tower. She just pops that right up in the air. She's a little short of vertical, but it was a really nice entry. Seven and a half, eight from the judges in that dive. So Angela Stasovulich, our leader. See how hot she was? She jumped on the tower. She jumped on the end. She just popped it. You know, she's not afraid to do anything. There's a lot of divers that figure they're up 10 meters already. They really don't want to deal with anything higher. They don't jump too well. Silky Albeck in fourth place from East Germany. Why do they take the shower all the time? Stay warm. It's cold in here then because of the windows and the, the air drafts. Keeps the muscles warm and loose. Soki is 17 years old. She's doing a back one and a half somersaults with a half twist. Woo, very nice. That was nice too. It's a little bit short, a little bit short of vertical, but a very nice dive. Oh, look at her tapes coming off when she's swimming out. Seven and a half, eight, eight and a half some judges. That degree of difficulty is 2.1. Well, when she does the dive, she swings her arms up and just kind of looks around and does a one and a half instead. She goes forward last minute, lines up a little short of her, but a very nice dive. This is already the fourth round. These meets go so fast, and really the competitor that's got the best mental attitude going into this meet is the one that's really going to come out on top, because at this point, it's 90% mental. Kana Novotna from Czechoslovakia, forward two and a half on a bike. She was a little short of vertical also and missed the entry a little bit. I don't know what she did. Um, it started to rip and have that nice sound and be real clean, but then she ended up throwing a good bit of water. Kana is 21 years old, 5'5". Five, five. She should be a little bit tighter in the pike there. You want to have your nose right on your knees. And she lets go and lines up. You can see... I don't know what was happening underwater there. You're allowed to do things underwater to give the appearance of the dive going in vertically, and the judges do not take off of what, what you do underwater. 
Wendy Weiland has dropped into sixth place for the United States. This is a forward one and a half with a twist. Pretty nice job, Wendy. First four rounds are really just to sort of get a pace going. I'm not worried about, you know, you shouldn't really worry about what place you're in after four dives because the next four are really the ones that are count. And the standings are very, very close. She gets seven, seven and a half from all of the judges. And that degree of difficulty was 2.1, so that should move Wendy up. Nice dive. You see her, when she started the twist, she wraps her arms across her chest, squares out and goes in. Straight up and down, nice dive. Elke Heinrichs from West Germany. She is going to be doing a forward one and a half with a twist, the same dive that we just saw Wendy do. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice to follow someone who's doing the same dive because it really sets you up in terms of judging. If you do it better, they can't help but go higher. She starts with her arms out to the side, starts the twist, squares out with her arms to the side, and then goes straight in. Kicked up quite a bit of water there at the end. Yep, she didn't have a hold of her hands very well when she went when she went in, I think. I think, who knows? I think she was moving around too much underwater. And the scores are not as good as Wendy's, six, six and a half. You see, she'll cross her arms across her chest. Put her arms out to the side, stop the twisting action. Looking at the water, getting ready to line up. No, she got her hands. She was just not in line. You want your arms right over your ears when you line up. Straight up and absolutely straight as you can be. Now, Guan is doing a reverse dive pike. She's going to swing her arms up. Her feet are going to come up to her hands. She's going to lay back and look at the water. Look at how, look at her, how straight she is. Oh. Oh! She thought, I thought she had that nail. She was just a little sort of vertical when she hit the water. But see, you can't even hear her going in the water. It just goes, whoop! <laughs> and she gets sevens from most of the judges on that dive. Gwen Savinson. We talked about the girls. The tallest girl in this competition is just 5'5". Five, five. Mm-hmm. I guess look when you have to do that there. many somersaults and off, you have long legs, you don't have as much room to get them through. But That's why I never did any inward two and a half pike. If I tried to do that, I would have landed on the tower from my knees down. <laughs> Olga Blanova of the Soviet Union. Forward one and a half somersaults with one twist. Nice twist action. A little sort of vertical, but a really beautiful entry. Really beautiful entry. Ford one and a half somersaults with one twist. It's really easy to see the differences in style between the Soviet, the Chinese, and the American. And she gets seven and a half. So what is that difference? And why? why does Sometimes, uh, well, let's see what she does here. She goes straight into the twist. And then her arms come out to the side to stop the twist. She's looking at the water to line up. The Americans tend to start the somersault first before the twist. Your arms come out to the side, then twist, then out to the side. Michelle Mitchell of the United States Michelle. doing a back one and a half in the straight position. This can, is a beautiful dive for Michelle. She's going to swing her arms up, never moves. She's going to stay straight the entire time. Oh, no. Gee, she missed that on three meter two, and that's one of her best dives. She went way past vertical on that. The degree of difficulty is 2.4, very difficult dive. Well, it, was, it started off nice. It was moving a little bit too fast for her. And she swings her arms up. Starts the somersault right there. She should have been reaching back for the water a little earlier to try to stop the somersault. She went past vertical and threw too much water. Got but, five and a half from most of the judges. So well, not a good dive for Michelle. Well, it might be good for her going into the optional round to put a little spark in her performance today. And that concludes our compulsory dives at the halfway mark. The leader is Angela Stasulovich of the Soviet Union. For the United States, Wendy Wyland is in sixth place. Michelle Mitchell is in seventh. But plenty of action still. Our leader, Angela Stasulovich. Angela's doing an, also an inward two and a half somersault pike. This is Angela Stasulovich. She only won, I mean, was second behind Michelle by less than a point from the last time they competed against each other. Whoa! Wow. That was so nice. That was, was a tremendous dive. Spinning a little bit slower than the one we saw Lee Hunsin do, but it was absolutely, totally controlled, wonderful entry, no water thrown. Judges give her eight and a half. Watch this. Watch this. 
Watch this entry. Keep waiting for it to go in. It's already gone. There's no water there. They have sprays that are underneath the 10 meter. It's like a hose. It squirts water out across the surface so that you can have some surface tension so that you can see the water when you go to line up. Otherwise, you see the bottom of the pool and if you're 33 feet up and you've got 19 feet of water, it can look like very hot. But you don't, you don't want to miss your hands from 10 meter when you line up. Silky Abek from East Germany. And Silky. inward three and a half in the tuck position. And we're two and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. And we're three and a half. You're right. The women have just started doing this dive in the last, I would say, year. It's a little sort of vertical. Hey, she should have done the two and a half. She didn't have, <laughs> she didn't have enough somersault. That's a lot of dives. The degree of difficulty is 3.2. 3.5 is the highest degree of difficulty there is. There are 120 different dives that are recognized by the World Federation. Are they coming up with new ones all the time? Well, every time I come to watch a workout, they've got another somersault or another twist on the dives I used to. It's too much. I don't know. It, you know. it worries me a little bit in terms of age group diving and the children starting to dive because I don't want to see people trying to do dives that are too difficult for them too soon and getting hurt. Or getting burnt out with a sport. Kind of Novotna from Czechoslovakia. For three and a half somersault tuck, nice dive, straight in, but a little bit heavy on the entry. In other words, do a little bit too much water. It was a nice dive. You mentioned that Kana is the tallest of the girls at five, at five, five. She gets into a nice tight tuck there. Looks at the water when she kicks out and just doesn't really stay tight on the end. That causes you to throw a lot of water. You want to be absolutely every muscle as tight as you can get it. Wendy Weiland from the United States in sixth place after the first four rounds doing an inward two and a half in the pipe position. The degree of difficulty for Wendy is 2.8. This is a good dive for Wendy. She's going to spin toward the tower two and a half times. She never has any problem with this dive. Wendy never has problems with any of her dives. The only times that she doesn't do as well as she's capable of doing is when uh, her attitude is not right where it ought to be. She's been diving since she was nine years old. She's yeah, now she 22. Left, she left home at 14 to train with Ron O'Brien. She moved to California with and now they've moved to Florida. Little pass vertical, but a very nice dive for Wendy. She didn't throw too much water. It was a nice entry. Boy, the entries are so important, especially from 10 meter, because that's the last thing the judges see before, you, before they score. Nice tight pike. Look at the water. Well, she wasn't that far over. Seven, seven and a half from the judges. I would have thought she would have gotten a little more than that. The degree of difficulty on that was 2.8, though. Mm -hmm. This was a tough dive. Well, I was saying that Wendy left home at 14. There's a lot of sacrifice involved to get to where these women are in the sport. You know, a lot of sacrifice. <laughs> Athletes really aren't the only ones to sacrifice. Families do, too. I mean, my mother has driven hundreds of thousands of miles to get me to work out. My poor sister spent all of their spring breaks on strange pool decks. <laughs> Elke Heinrichs from West Germany doing the same dive that we just saw Wendy do. And we're two and a half somersault pike. Elke's a really strong diver. Look at the concentration, pretty intense. She backed away from the tower a little bit with her hips, made it difficult to get to the two and a half somersault. If you're spinning toward the tower, you don't want to start the action by moving too far back with your hips. Our judges today are from the Soviet Union, the United States, China, East Germany, Bulgaria, West Germany, and Mexico. See, she leaves it just a little bit short of vertical because she didn't have that momentum she needed off the tower. Guan Sevatin, a forward one and a half with three twists. Now, you said that the Chinese sometimes have trouble with the twists. She's going to try three yeah, of them. Yeah, they do. She doesn't. She looks so young. Well, she is, she is so young. <laughs> I mean, I don't, can, I couldn't imagine doing a triple twister from 10 meter when I was 13 years old. I mean, the only thing I can figure, she doesn't really know what she's doing yet. She's too young to know better. 
Sorry, of course, it's your coach watching. Whoa. Whoa. She hit she it. She had a curious little hop in her, in her approach after the end of the tower, but, man, she hits it hard. You can hear her pop off the tower. It was a nice dive. It's a little bit short of her. Her coach is very Whoa. pleased with it. Watch this little hop. Beep. <laughs> And the judges give her seven and a half and eight. A good dive for Gwen Saviton, who's just 13 years old, but among our leaders here today. Wow. To be this competitive at that age is absolutely unbelievable. There's no substitute for experience, and she's going to have plenty of it by the time... Well, she may have been dabbing since she was three. You never know. <laughs> sure, we'll see her at the next Goodwill Games. Olga Blanova from the Soviet Union doing a back two and a half. Pike position. This is a really hard dive for women to do also. It's really difficult to spin backwards, get your legs up in front of you. In pike position, it's hard to get your legs up on this dive. Degree of difficulty, 2.9. Takes a deep breath before she goes. Whoa! Wow! Gee! The crowd what, loves you, that one. You can't do that any better. I mean, you sure can't do a better entry than that. She could have gotten a little more jump from the tower and gone a little higher in the air, but I mean. The score is ranging from a seven and a half up to a nine. A seven and a half from the West German judge, a nine that time from the Mexican judge. That's unbelievable. I guess that. She, only thing I can see is that she didn't get as strong a job as she could have. But her entry, where, where was it? <laughs> Michelle Mitchell from the United States dropped to seventh place. She was our leader after two rounds. It's all right, she's got time to make it up. She's about 20 points behind Angela Stasulovic. Easy to make up. And Michelle is going to do another arm stand. She had a little bit of trouble with the first one. Well, she her arm stand is actually very steady. And at this point right now, because she missed that last dive, she's an aggressive competitor and she knows what she's got to do. Oh, man. Makes me nervous now. She's, her feet are not quite she's up where they should be. She's holding it for three seconds, though. Kip off the tower, line up. That nice dive. Really a wow. nice dive. <laughs> Scared me though. Her feet Scared didn't you. look like they were all the way vertical in her arm stand. I was afraid that, you know, it's hard to get the action off the tower that you need to kip when your feet are a little bit short of where they should be. Scores ranging from a seven to an eight. And here are the standings after the first five rounds. The leader continues to be Angela Stasulovich of the Soviet Union. Wendy Weiland of the United States is in fourth place, and Michelle Mitchell is in sixth. In the seventh round is doing what is called a 614B. The six means it's an arm stand, and she says this is her favorite dive. Arm stand for double somersault in tight position. It's called a double, even because she's going from her head to her head. You would think a double would be you feet first dive, but because she's starting from her hands, she'll end up on her hands. What an awesome arm stand. She's ending up on her hands. Really there's nice your rip. And there's the two bubbles on both sides as she goes into the water. Right? She was moving around a little bit on the entry. She wasn't perfectly solid when she hit the water. But it was a nice, nice dive. And the scoring ranging from mostly 8-1-9 for Angela Stasulovic. She lets her feet fall past vertical. She grabs her feet and looks at the water. Pretty unbelievably great dive. And as our leader, with fine scores in the eight to nine ranges, Angela Stasulovic starting to move out a little bit. She held a 33-point lead at the end of the first six rounds. Wendy Weiland of the United States in third place. Wendy's doing a reverse two and a half somersault tuck, and she has got to hit this dive. Wendy trying to get into the medals in third place. Kent Ferguson of the United States won a silver in the men's three meter. And Wendy's going to swing her arms up, her knees are going to come up to her hands, and she's going to spin backward toward the tower two and a half times. Oh, no. She left that short of vertical. That's not good. She needed a better dive than that. She had, it looked like she had a pretty good jump. 
No, she scooted away from the tower a little bit. When she kicked out, she kicked her feet down too low. She should have kicked the feet up towards the ceiling more. Guan Sevitan, our 13-year-old Chinese girl, a back two and a half pike. Talk about springs in your ankles. This little gal, you can't tell how small she really is until you see her stand next to somebody else. She is so teeny. Wow. Ooh. Look at that jump. I mean, she has to almost let go before she comes to a double. Before she, so she doesn't go over. That time she came out a little bit too soon and, and short, ended up short of vertical. But look at this jump. She weighs about 90 pounds. I mean, pounds. look. She has to let her feet go when they're pointing at the pool and then just kind of try to control the rest around. That was a difficult dive and she gets good scores. I bet she weighs about 65. <laughs> I don't think she weighs 80. <laughs> but she's going to be somebody to really... Up. About four feet, ten inches, weighs about 85 pounds. She's going to be somebody to really watch in the next few years. Olga Blanova, the Soviet Union, currently in second place. Olga's doing a reverse two and a half somersaults tuck, 2.7. This is her favorite dive. She was 33 points behind her teammate, Angela Svasulvich, going into this round. Well, this will just almost clinch it if she hits it. Yeah. Oh, my God! She hit that. That, Whoa. Was a that was a great jump, and that was an absolutely beautiful entry. You can't do that dive much better than that. Everybody's like it. Their coach likes it, that's for sure. Watch this. She look. swings her arms up. Wow. And the nice tight tuck. She split a little bit. You don't see that from the side. But look at how flat she is when she lines up and goes in. There is absolutely no splash at all. Nine and a half. Great for our judging, too, as you see, nine and a half from everybody except the Soviet Union judge, and he gave her a nine. So. Yeah, but he gets marked out. That's right. We're fair scoring. Mark Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that was so beautiful. Excellent dive for Olga Blanova, the Soviet Union. Oh boy, that puts the pressure on Michelle. Michelle Mitchell of the United States was only 10 points behind Olga going into this ninth, seventh round. But after seeing those scores, she's gonna have to hit this back one and a half with three and a half twists. This is a beautiful dive to watch. Michelle does this dive very well. It's very difficult and she hasn't been doing it that long. But she's very confident with this dive. And she should be pretty pumped up right now. When you have to stand on the 10 meter and listen to scores like that and listen to all the people in these stands, yeah, we have a great crowd. It's a four-time All-American from University of Arizona. Oh. Ooh. Nice dive. She finished that dive very high. It's really unusual for a woman to complete that dive and complete three and a half twist that high in the air. She didn't have that wonderful good entry, but it was a nice dive. I'm seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half and eight from the judges. I thought she'd get higher scores than that. See, she was... Pretty I was dive. thinking maybe that she was a little short or a little past the twist, but it looked pretty much right on to me. I don't know why she didn't Now we can see we've moved up in the scoring, though, because a lot of the girls in that seventh round had difficult times. That concludes our seventh round. Just one round remains. Angela Stasulovich of the Soviet Union is the leader. Her teammate Olga Blanova is in second place. Michelle Mitchell of the United States has moved into third. Wendy Weiland is in fifth. One round remains. It should be an exciting one. We'll be right back. We'll re She's got to be feeling pretty good right now. Home court advantage, you know. There's her final dive. Oh, oh. no! Did you see the water come flying up after her? Yeah. When she went in, that's because it followed her in in her part. That was unbelievable. Wow, that was unbelievable. She gets such a powerful jump from the tower. It makes such a great sound when she gets in. Oh, we got a 10. Our first 10 it goes to Angela Sasulovich, our leader. Because that is of from this the West time. German judge. Nice tight tuck. This Just is beautiful. Out. And there's nothing happening now. You can't go in straighter. You can't no make splash lessons. that time. For Angela Sasulovich, that is a degree of difficulty of 2.7. With scores like that, she's going to be tough to catch. I don't think anybody can catch her right now. A tremendous dive. Oh, oh, hum. Another <laughs> fabulous list I've put together again today. Suki <laughs> <laughs> Abeg from East Germany. There's her teammate. Wendy Weiland in fifth place, but still in the running for a medal. Back two and a half somersaults pike. 
for all the cookies. She's got to hit this. Degree of difficulty is 2.9. Wendy is such an intense competitor. When she's on, boy, she's tough to beat. A nice dive. It was a little bit short of vertical, but it was a wonderful dive. Couldn't get that great sound. Mike Finnerman and Tom Rich, our coaches, standing by as Wendy Wyland concludes her performance with a fine dive. It was a very nice dive. Consistent scoring, seven and a half from each of the seven judges. I think they've been a little low today on the American Wolf girls. I think the judges have been a little low. It's always interesting to see the judges' analysis before it judges over. They break down and they can see what coach had who in the first through six. Has um, provided some extremely embarrassing moments in the history of the diving world. <laughs> Elke Heinrichs from West Germany in eighth place, concluding with a forward three and a half in the pike position. It's a lot of dives. The degree of difficulty is 3.0. She's got to get a good pop off the end of the tower. Oh. Didn't have time to line that up. No, she took the whole 10 meters to do that dive. You want to try to finish a little higher than that, so you do have time to line up. Here's this view. It looks all right here until you look down and see how far up you really are. Well, see, she's only completed a double by the time she just... Oh. It's interesting to watch that, and then we watched the 13-year-old Guan Saivatan spin so quickly, and she had two and a half of those somersaults done by the time she got to the, to the lower tenure. board. Gwen Saivatan we're going to see right here doing a forward three and a half. Same dive. the pike. Same dive. This will be a great comparison. I mean, I can't, I just can't imagine her coach saying, okay, Quan, three and a half pike, and her saying, okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Oh. Look how oh, I don't believe spin. that either. I mean, look how, she can't control the end. She goes over on it. What a beautiful, beautiful, she has really pretty blind. Great legs, great toes, wonderful extension when she's in the air. Natural and graceful body lines I would think would earn high marks from the judges just because you look so pretty up there. Look at her pike. See her legs, how straight, and her toes are really beautiful. When she comes out, I mean, she's even got time to put her arms out to the side to try to stop it. Just unbelievable. She's going to be somebody to really watch. Olga Blanova, the Soviet Union, in second place, chasing her teammate Angela Stasulovich. But the degree of difficulty on this is just 2.6. It's an arm stand. She would have to get tens on this to catch Angela. Well, miracles have happened. It can be done. I've seen her do this stuff for nine. What blows my mind is this press up. And there's her coach. He's coaching her. Man. <laughs> that well, is a see, tough dive. That was a beautiful dive. She has to actually slow that down because she has such a wonderful arm stand and wonderful action off the tower. She had to slow it down, and then she actually left it short of vertical, overcorrected. It was a nice dive. She had time. The little arch when she went in it was still a clean entry. It was a nice dive, though. Lynn's the scores check. are six and a half, up to an eight. Well, a low score time. from the United States shows that time, but that score will be thrown out throughout the high and the low. Michelle Mitchell of the United States concluding with an Edward three and a half in a tuck position. She needs to get good scores to get a medal. Yes, she does. She's got to hit this dive. Last meet Michelle did this in. She absolutely drilled it. It's been a very good dive for her going to spin three and a half times toward the tower. Oh, she went just a little bit past vertical, and they're not going to give her the score she's going to need. She had a wonderful top. She had a nice clean entry. And she watches the scores. They range from a six and a half to seven. Not enough. Nice top. Really nice top. Finishes it high. You can't stop it on the end. Goes a little bit past vertical. I mean, in this meet, seven is a miss. That concludes our women's platform competition.
The two Soviets get first and second, Angela Stasulovich and Olga Blanova. The two Americans third and fourth, Michelle Mitchell and Wendy Weiland. So a bronze medal for Michelle Mitchell of the United States.